Ambassador Mike, can you tell us about the road? How long has the Lagos Badago road been that bad? Uh, I think um, the during the time of Governor Fashola, the road was um, the road had been bad though. But you know, Fashola have a way of um, of maintenance, so he actually was maintaining the road in terms of patching the roads and so on. But when the present government came in, the, as in the last uh, governor, I mean Governor Ambody, as and he didn't do anything. So the road was totally abandoned for four good years. Now, that road has now become, because of the abandonment of the road, that has now become a dead trap. A lot of our women are having miscarriage in respect in, because in the process of moving from my two to Badagri that ought to take about 45 minutes thereabout, you saying you now spend five to six hours. In fact, somebody sent last uh, two days ago, somebody sent a message across to me to say from Agbara to Mubu, she spent four hours on the road. That's to tell you how bad the place is. Now, our children within the houses cannot go to school. Most of them, if they leave at home as early as 7 a.m. in the morning, they will get to school by 11 a.m. or so close to noon. You now ask, do we really have a government that cares for the people? See, if you go straight to trade fair, you see the vehicle, there's a pothole there that can even swallow a whole human being. If not for the soldiers that are helping to control traffic in that house at the barracks, I mean, or, or job barracks, totally you discover that the people of Badagu will have totally been cut off from the other side of uh, the city. Let's go to come with Michael. The protest was held uh, two weeks ago by residents of the community. Uh, since that protest was done, can you tell us how has there been any improvement? Well, um, uh, before the, the protest actually came up, we did uh, a lot of findings. Uh, we, did we discovered that the, the road was actually neglected uh, since the commissioning of that road in the year 1976 by Julius Beja to the government of uh, general, retired General Yakubu Gowan. And so he gave them 20 years ultimatum as the expiry time for the road. And we discovered that since 1996 till date, we have not seen any improvement of maintenance on that road. And so that was why we came up with the protest. And um, ever since the protest came up, we have engaged the media, both print and uh, TV stations, to you know, push forward this uh, agitation. And um, to me, presently, averagely, I have not seen the government's impact as we speak. Uh, what we just saw on the social media, which we are yet to verify, was the presence of the new governor somewhere along uh, Alakija down to trade fair br under bridge where he just did some assessment. I wouldn't know if it is true, but I could see it on the social media, though I was not there. So that is why I cannot solidly say it is true or not. And according to the uh, governor's statement, he actually emphasized the road construction from Eric Moore to Okoko. Had it been he had taken a walk from that under bridge towards Yanosashi, it would have been very, very good that he actually visited Badagri Expressway. So stopping at that axis of Eric Moore to under bridge trade fair, I don't think is justifiable enough that he has actually intervened into the duress that made the people to actually come out for that protest. Uh, to me, to me, that, that promise is a political statement. 
And uh, just like the previous governor said, now we are moving to Badagri. We want to go and develop Badagri. We'll make Badagri a place that will be a place of business and people will come and, and you know, entertain and whatever, work and play. But at the end of the day, our hopes were dashed. So I see similar thing repeating. And that is why I am not so bold enough to say that this government is really ready to take the plight of the people into consideration. Comrade Akonde, do you also agree with him on that? Yes, uh, it's not an issue if I agree. Asad, we are standing on the same platform to anchor that the legal badagri road should be fixed. Yes, in as much as we respect um, the governor and his deputy, we want to say here that we don't want a situation whereby a governor come, wake up one day and issue political statement and making the people to believe that what he says is what he's going to do. Understand? A lot of this political statement have been something that people celebrate. At the long run, we find out that they didn't do anything. So what we are saying is this. If the government want to make a statement, it should give directive to the contractors so that by the time we see this contractor on the road working, they will know that the government is making a statement. Not by uh, coming on media to make a statement to say, yes, we are going to fix the road. And moreover, the governor, based on his statement, he actually talked about the area that, that, was, uh, uh, that they negotiated for. Because I, we have information that they negotiated for from uh, Eric Moore down to uh, um, Okokomaiko that is under their control. What now happened from Okokomaiko to Semeboda? That is under the federal government uh, control. So he said in his statement, the one we saw on social media, that they are going to negotiate and liaise with the federal government so that they will know the next steps to take. So it simply means that the people of Badagri Division are still in limbo. Understand? The possibility of constructing that road or fixing, making the road motorable, understand, is something that is not even in the agenda. So whatever statement that they have made, understand, is, is, is followed by action, by sending contractors on the road so they can start working. With Michael and your final notes, what are your final words for the people? Now, um, my final words are this. I, I have said this several times and I'll continue to say it. Miracle belongs to God. Magic belongs to humanity. And so human beings can perform magic and make magic work as if it is miracle. And somebody asked me, he said, what is the possibility of government fixing this road under 100 days? I said it is very possible when you bring up this contractors that have the machinery that can make the road work. You are not going to employ one contractor, bring at least four, five, six contractors to this road, give them reasonable number of kilometers to cover for repair under this specified period of time, and you see the road fixed up. Because you cannot say because you have contracted the road to a particular agency or contractor, then the place will just be under that, the purview of that singular contractor. Bring on board others. What we are actually saying is there is an existing lane that is collapsed. And that is what the people can apply presently to assess their economic activities and make the government run, that make their social life run, and make the economy of the country run properly. And now you have abandoned that and awarded a new one. And the new one is not even having a headway for the past number of months, clocking years now. And then you are telling us that place is going to be in existence like that for the number of three or four years that that contract is going to be completed. What we are saying is we want the place to be motorable, the existing two lanes that is collapsed to be motorable, and it can be done under two weeks. When you have these contractors, with their machineries and equipment on the road working, they will fix the place. And two, they can fix that road even overnight 
What are they doing in the daytime? If the road is busy daytime, it, there will be obstruction for them to walk. Let them walk overnight till daybreak by 6 a.m. when people start moving to their workplaces. And this thing will be done under two weeks. So the government have the money. They have taxpayers' money in their pocket. Let them spend it on this project and let the road be motorable. Spending the time they finish the major contract. And lastly, my name is Ambassador Mark Akonde. I want whoever that is listening to hear. We have given the government 100 days ultimatum. They can call for me. But I'm telling them that 100 days, we are going to give them red card. The police, we have 91 checking points, 91 to 92 checking points, police checking points between Seme border to my two. The government have declared war against our people. So therefore, if they don't make our road motorable, because our people are suffering, we are under poverty, and the poverty that have come to our people is as a result of the bad road. You remember the federal government policy, they have actually blocked the border. So we cannot cross to the other, the other side to do trade. And now, because of the bad road, we cannot relate with other cities within Lagos to do trade. Yes. So there's poverty within the Badagri division. So if they will not fix the road, if they refuse to fix the road, I repeat, within these 100 days, then we, we are going to declare all activities of the federal government along that as is illegal. We will shut the road until the federal government shows that they are truly the federal government of Nigeria by coming to fix the road. That is the only option they have.